Call the meeting of the regular meeting of the Guthrie Edmond Regional Airport Board to order and note that we have a quorum present. The second item on the agenda is discussion and consideration and possible action to approve the minutes of the Guthrie Edmond Regional Airport Board meeting held on January 9th, 2024. Are there any additions, corrections to the minutes? Hearing no additions or corrections to the minutes and no discussion, is there a motion to approve the minutes of the January 29th, 2024 meeting? I move to approve. There's a motion made to approve. Is there a second? Second. There's a motion made and seconded and laid upon the table. Are there any further discussion? Are you ready for the question? All those in favor, aye. signify aye. by saying aye. aye. Any opposed? In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Having received the majority of those appointed to and constituting the board, the motion passes. Item number three is discussion, consideration, and possible action to approve the monthly financials. Mr. Young, uh, or Director Young, emailed you the financials along with the rest of the packet. Are there any questions or concerns on the financials? Hearing none, I'll entertain a motion to approve the monthly financials as submitted in the packet. Motion. There's a motion made, is there a second? Second. There's been a motion made and seconded and laid upon the table. Any further discussion? Are you ready for the question? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. <coughs> Having received the majority of those appointed to and constituting the board, the motion passes. My favorite topic. It's on the agenda so frequently. Discussion, consideration, and possible action on, on hangar site number 23C. Director Young. Yes, Mr. Chairman. I promise eventually this item will not occur. <laughs> it will not be on the agenda. At some point, mm -hmm. um, it'll happen. Um, included in your packet is a letter from Shannon Tarkington uh, with Tark Engineering that the City of Guthrie requested um, after concerns at the last board meeting regarding anchor bolt installation. Uh, the report states that the method in which the anchor bolts were installed are consistent with structural requirements. Um, not included in your letter are some technical information that the City of Guthrie Planning Office reviewed uh, to ensure that they, did, they were aligned with technical requirements when they were installed. Um, I can also report that the concrete apron has been poured uh, for hangar site number 23C. Um, I don't know that this item today will be an action item per se. Um, all of the deadlines provided by Mr. Ripley have been met. I wanted to make sure I provided the board with the latest information regarding the anchor bolt issue that was brought up last time. I appreciate that. And uh, with regard to the construction of that project, one of the things that I thought about is do we require uh, leasehold tenants to maintain insurance on? We do require them to maintain insurance. Um, as far as when that insurance kicks in, I'm not sure if they've submitted um, insurance. They may have last year when they began the building phases of it, and I just have yet to receive it. Um, but I can most certainly check that and have that information at the next board meeting. All right, I appreciate that. So there is no action needed on item 23, I don't believe, unless anybody else has another concern regarding the, the site. It'll, no? All right, so no action will be taken on item number four. Item number five, discussion, consideration, and possible action of transfer of a lease for hangar 23A from Guardian Air Patrol to BC Guthrie Hangar LLC. I believe we have the tenants here, uh, Director Young. Yeah, so at first glance of the board packet today, uh, you may be wondering uh, why there are so many transfers. Um, as we get to each item, I'll explain why a transfer is occurring and the status of the hangar. Uh, in the packets I provided to the board, you will also notice that I have not included the original lease agreement, uh, nor the legals that were included with the packets sent out. If you require that, please let me know. Uh, this was purely an effort to save paper. Uh, first up, we have hangar number 23A. Um, at the in your packet, there should be a map that has that no, that hanger in red uh, to identify its location. Um, this is the first hanger for the corporate hanger development area. The lease began in 2014 and ends in 2044. Uh, however, it was with two 10 year options for renewal. Um, we don't offer those kind of renewals at this time, but that was what we, was done in the past. Um, today, uh, we've invited, of course, Jeff Richardson and Brian Gregg to speak. Uh, on behalf of the transfer, um, 
due to the fact that they are um, somewhat closing a Guardian Aerial Patrol, a new pipeline company will be coming in, and this is just a simple transfer to transfer that lease over. And if there's anything that the guests wanted to add, I want to make sure that. Yeah, we're happy to speak to any questions you have. There's been a pipeline company that's been continuing operations, so you know the activity's been generally the same. You know, but yeah, that's the, that's the company that we're. Is it the Canadian company that? Nope, they're from Texas. Uh, Midland is where they're based. Okay. I know we have a Canadian company that's also been operating out of the airport as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, any other questions from the members of the board? Does the activity level look like it'll stay about the same or more or less? Well, we had more planes, a little more activity going, but their plan is to, to grow. I mean, I know that, but uh, yeah, they've got three planes currently. Okay. Yeah, up here. I think, yeah, here. Yeah, I think they have around 40 total. I know they have about 50 pilots. Okay. Yeah, they're an overall yeah. larger company than yeah. we were, the, the, yeah. but the footprint here is not as large as we were. Okay. So, yeah. What kind of planes do you have? Uh, they're all 172s. Okay. Yeah. And 50 pilots. Yeah, but they're, they're based. They're based all over. Yeah. 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 I think they have a couple up here. Right. Yeah. So they'll fly the same geographic area. That I think so. I don't really know. We don't really know exactly what their routes are. I haven't, in, you know, haven't inquired about it. But they have a they have a couple. Um, of, they have three planes right now up here, and then a couple of pilots. Okay. And so, and I still have some planes in there too. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Well, so you're going to keep your Apache here. Is that, is that right? Are you I don't know what I'm going to do with that thing. <laughs> Are you interested in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just bought another. I bought another airplane. I don't need three. Listen. I have two. Why like wouldn't two. you? There's days of the week. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I yeah. yeah. No. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with that. Yet. Okay. I've had a lot of inquiries about it, but mm -hmm. I have I'm going to keep it for now. Okay. Well, next year I know that you flew. This, this year I flew Santa in. Uh, Santa barely met the lap oh, belt. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we're you know, like, I, I better have another Santa uh, pilot you know, uh -huh. with, uh -huh. with older, the really yeah. extendable lap belts. Because yeah, it was it was a challenge to get it yeah. buckled in. Yeah, that won't be a Polanco. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Crabtree told me that I could just yeah, like just have him hold on really well. I'm like, I'm not sure about that. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. But yeah, it's okay. That's right. Okay. That's you know, my my attitude. So I I have a student who has epilepsy, and I took him to a competition. And as part of the competition, we go to UCO Pace for them as, as a reward to go to Universal Studios. And he's like, Dr. Aguirre, they told me that there's lights in this. I have epilepsy. I'm like, you'll, you'll be fine. You'll be, you'll, you'll, it's fine. Trust me. Like, I have two doctor's screws. You'll be fine. <laughs> Get on the ride. We yeah. have a lot of money for you to be here. Good. <laughs> All right. So is there a, a motion on item number five? The uh, transfer of the lease assignment 23K from Guardian to uh, BC Guthrie Hangar LLC. So they're just taking up with that building and that hangar. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Just wait. I make motion that we transfer the lease. All right. There's been a motion made. Is there a second? Second. There's a second made. A motion made and second laid upon the table. Is there any further discussion? Are you ready for the question? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. The opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Uh, having received the majority of those appointed to and constituting the board, the motion carries. Discussion, possible consideration and action to transfer the lease for Hangar 8 from Keith Northrup to uh, GOK Aviation Services, LLC. So the last lease transfer was a transfer from one hangar owner to another. Uh, this transfer and the subsequent item number seven, which we had to break up due to the fact that they're separate hangars, um, is just put, he's just putting his lease in an LLC uh, for liability purposes. Um, he told me that he was not super adamant about choosing GOK Aviation Services LLC. That was just what he wanted to call it. There was another business that wanted to come with a similar name. He doesn't care what it, what the name is. He just wants it placed in an LLC. Has so, he formed the LLC already? I believe so. Okay. All right. So we're not going to be back here in front of the board when he decides that he's done a name search through the uh, Secretary of State and it's not it's not available. Is that correct? I I probably I'll confirm that with him for sure. Okay. All 
All right. Um, is there a motion on, or is there any further discussion on item six? Is there a motion? I move. Um, to approve, approve the transfer uh, and assignment of the lease from Keith Northrope to uh, GOK Aviation Services, LLC. Is there a second? I'll second. There's been a motion made and seconded and laid upon the table. Is there any further action or further discussion? Are you ready for the question? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed, nay, in the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Having received the majority of those appointed to and constituting the board, the motion carries. Item number seven, this is for the second hanger for, from the same individual to uh, GOK Aviation <coughs> Services, Keith Northrop uh, on hangar 10P. Any other discussion? Is there a motion? Move to approve. There's been a motion made, is there a second? Second. There's been a motion made and seconded and laid upon the table. Is there any other discussion? Hearing none, are you ready for the question? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Any opposed? In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Having received the majority of those appointed to and constituting the board, the motion carries. Discussion and consideration item number eight, possible action to transfer assignment of the lease from hangar number 15 from Bob Conrad to Ross uh, Koch. Yes, so uh, this lease transfer uh, will be from one existing tenant um, to another tenant that's on the airport that was interested in the hangar. Uh, I believe Mr. Crabtree is, is probably here on behalf of uh, Bob Conrad. Just in case there's any questions. Yes, so the same exact transfer situation as uh, the first beginning item uh, with hangar 23A. Um, it's just going to be that they're transferring the lease over. Is there any discussion or questions from the members of the board? I have a question though. That's a that's one of our older leases. Does it have the uh, extension period that we offered at the time, or does it have? I think it's got two five years. Two on fives. It. Yeah, there's was two fives. I think that lease came about in 2011, somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah, April 11. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Any other questions, comments? I'll entertain a motion to uh, transfer the lease from of hangar number 15 from Bob Conrad to Ross Coke. I move to approve the transfer. There's been a motion made. Is there a second? Second. So, there's been a motion made and second and laid upon the table. Is there any other discussion? Are you ready for the question? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Can you continue the chair? The ayes have it. Having received the majority of those, pointing to the constitution board, the motion carries. Item number nine is the airport director's report. Director Young. Yes, so notum uh, one two slash zero, slash zero zero three uh, for runway one six. Um, it's airport, uh, it's ALS is unserviceable, it's still in active field condition. Um, left a voice message with Flash Technologies to make repairs to our system, at least to provide us estimates. Um, to make the necessary repairs, they would have to maintain a two person crew at $2,000 per worker per day with a $2,000 mobilization fee. Uh, so this would be a very expensive repair and repair the ODAL system. I know that Shalon was working on this before she left. And I believe before I came to the airport, uh, Wise Electric um, got on the phone with Flash and tried to do the work with the help of Flash Technologies over the phone and then were unable to make any headway. Um, the ish other issue is too is that Flash is going to have to decide what equipment they need to repair it while they're here because they, they're not sure what, what's causing it to not work. Um, so I wanted to keep the board up to date on that. Um, I would like to look at using the remaining funds that we had on the airport truck if possible. Um, I believe it was seven grand um, left from the CARES Act fund that we could use to offset the cost of, of what that's going to cost to get those fixed. Um, speaking of the new airport truck, it's still in the city fleet maintenance shop being upfitted with radio equipment and lights, um, hoping to see um, it come back to the airport once that's complete. Um, six deer were reported on January 23rd crossing the runway by airport maintenance and USDA Wildlife Services were subsequently notified. Um, they remove deer uh, as, as they are um, in the trap that they have over by runway 34. Um, attended the Oklahoma Airport Operators Association's quarterly meeting at the state capitol this morning. Um, I will be attending the FAA Southwest Airport Partnership Conference on February 26th through February 28th in Texas. 
Um, so if you want to get a hold of me, I'll still have my phone. I just won't be in the office. So um, I believe that's all that I have for today. If there's any questions. Any questions for the director? Hearing none. Um, board member Young, do you have any requests or comments? This is item number 10, request comments from the airport board. Oh, I just want to commend uh, Kane for the bang-up job he's been done since he's been here. Mm -hmm. and, and just uh, really appreciate your efforts. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Go Lightly. I, for one, am really happy that we have the welcome the new pipeline guys to our airport. Really, really glad you're here. Glad you got the planes and pilots here. Happy about that. It's a welcome. You're actually departing, aren't you? Yeah, we're the only guests. Oh, you're the guys that are It's okay. You'll like the new guests, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I didn't want you to want that down there. Vice Chairman Dad. Uh, just a quick question for you, I guess. And, uh, did you have any uh, contact with the stall people? Or uh, I have sent them an email, and I have not had a response back from them, but I am going to see if I can contact uh, some of the airports that have done it and see if they have a number. Their webpage is not exactly the most up-to-date, uh, yeah. which I'm surprised. You know, like, their you know, technology. Pilots generally like technology. It's been my experience. But, you know, so no, I have not, but as soon as I do, I will let you know and I will pass it on to, to the director. Okay, as well. good deal. So, yeah, I'm interested in that. Thank I think you. it's, uh, I think it's a really interesting opportunity to, to get another event at the airport and get more traffic. Yeah, out. sure. Thank you. Councilman Williams? Uh, no comment this time. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, Board Member Wallace? No questions, comments. All right. I don't have anything. It's a blessedly short meeting. You can thank me. <laughs> You know, later. So, uh, with that, uh, we'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. To There's a motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. There's no discussion on a motion to adjourn. All those in favor, aye. Aye. Opposed. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it. Having received the majority, those appointed to.